What is going on everybody? So I am back today because, as I've said, I really enjoy found footage horror movies and as of lately I've watched a lot of them uh, just because it gives the opportunity for independent filmmakers that don't necessarily have the budget to make a horror movie that looks really spectacular or has amazing visual effects but they can use a minimal budget to tell a story that can be incredibly frightening, that can be really immersive, and using tactics as a filmmaker to unsettle and create an atmosphere for the audience that you can do without a huge budget. And it's something I've always really respected. And every now and again, I feel like there's found footage films that get talked about a lot. I talked about that the filmmaker Isaac Rodriguez. I watched three of his films, talked pretty in-depth about those recently. And I've seen this series going around online right now called The Blackwell Ghost. And there's seven films in this series, and they all range from like an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. And I know the first film was put up for free on Tubi, and so I figured... I'll jump in, watch the first film, see what I think, and if I like it, I'll dive in and watch more of them. And that is what I'm going to be talking about today, is the found footage film, The Blackwell Ghost. Blackwell Ghost is directed by Turner Clay. A filmmaker tries to prove that ghosts are real, but soon regrets his intentions after he finds himself being terrorized in a haunted house by a ghost with a dark past. An authentic documentary that shows actual ghost footage that was captured on camera. So obviously when you start this out, they give the whole spiel of this is actually real, this isn't fake, and you know, I the, the Blair Witch Project is the film that did that, that worked so well. The marketing campaign around that was incredible. When you were around for that time period, seeing the trailer for that movie, you really assumed that that was real. And I feel like there are a lot of found footage films I've watched in my life that even if I wasn't immersed in that uh, viral marketing or anything, that have immersed me so much that I felt like it was realistic. For instance, the films, like I said, The Blair Witch Project, Lake Mungo, um, Hell House LLC, Butterfly Kisses. There are several found footage films that I feel like feel so authentically realistic that I lose myself in those worlds in a way that the director really impresses me. And this one, they kind of start off with that. It feels a little hokey around the edges at first because of the way they jump into it. But what really impressed me about this is once Turner Clay finds his footing in this movie, it really becomes an engaging and entertaining experience that I think works as exactly what it wants to do. I don't think it is a perfect film. I think there are some things that are a little rough. It takes a while to find its footing, even with like only a 58 minute runtime. But I think there's enough to hold on to. Want to continue watching this franchise. So the film stars Turner Clay as himself. And at the beginning of the film, he's talking about, you know, his history. He went to film school. He uh, shot these zombie movies. But he wants to make a documentary about the paranormal. And at the beginning, he finds this footage. He finds this film from these people, I think, at a hotel. And they have this video of an entity looking like it's leaving a hotel room. And after, like, contacting them, trying to get something together to make it work it just sort of falls apart and nothing really ever comes out of it well three years later he ends up finding this footage online that this guy sends him of a light turning on and off in his house and he watches the footage and you can see in the background an entity move through the background so after contacting this gentleman he goes to visit him in pennsylvania him and his wife go together to go visit him and he says that he's lived in the house for 50 years and that there's a dark past to this house and that he hears spirits and entities all the time while he's trying to sleep or during the day which is like I would be out of that house in like a second. I don't know why he's choosing to stay there other than like his family has lived there for forever. He shows them all this stuff and they end up leaving after that happens. Well, they get an email from him shortly after and he says, hey, I'm going out of town on business. If you want to stay and set up cameras and see if what I'm telling you is true, then you can more than happily come stay, use my car, and prove that this is actually a real haunting. And that is a bulk of the runtime of the film. Turner Clay and his wife going to this house, setting up all these cameras, and trying to capture this entity for themselves. And that's the part that I really liked about it. It's less of like a we're trying really hard to scare you and more of just like a, hey, if paranormal investigators went to do this or someone that doesn't believe in the paranormal went to go do this and things started happening, how would they react? And that's what I liked about it. There was an authenticity behind it that, that 
I felt like the characters were really just authentically people. It didn't feel like a hokey performance. It didn't feel really over the top. There were a couple of like goofy moments where like I can fly my own plane, which is like, oh, you know, that's that's just fun stuff the director's adding into it. But I really thought that once they got in the house and they started examining those things, that it's really like as human beings, we are naturally curious, right? We want to even if something is dangerous, we want to know when something otherworldly happens, why it is occurring, and why we are experiencing these things. And that is what I appreciated about this movie, is his desire to uncover why this is occurring. And even when weird stuff starts happening, kind of pushing that out of the way and saying, I want to know more, until it becomes so overwhelming that you just can't do it anymore. And that's what I liked. It's not like people getting picked off left and, left and right. It's not like, you know, the most ambiguous ending in the world. It's, it's very much like a slice of this person's life doing this one specific thing, uncovering the history of this house. And I thought that the creepier moments were handled really well. I thought that they, you know, it's mostly just like a door or a faucet turning on by itself or um, just little tiny things like that. Nothing super over the top. But when you're immersed in this and you feel like the lore of the story that they're telling you is so realistic, you kind of lose yourself in that. And that is what I appreciate the most about the Blackwell Ghost, is that atmosphere. Like I said, it's not the most effective 58 minute runtime film. It takes a little bit of time to get going at the beginning, to settle in, to kind of get you where you need to go for the rest of the film. Uh, there are things that could be tidied up here and there. But I think as far as the found footage genre, The Blackwell Ghost is a really entertaining movie and I'm looking forward to watching more in this series. Uh, I'll probably do like a thing where I talk about most of them in another video. But I'm looking forward to checking those out because I really did enjoy this one. So have you seen The Blackwell Ghost? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was really entertaining. I was really impressed by it, especially for the lower budget. I thought that they did a really great job, and I'm looking forward to checking out more in this franchise. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.